Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to Motion Nations. And in today's video, we are going to create this wavy text animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. As you can see, that it looks very interesting and it's very easy to create. So, let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can go with 30 seconds. After that, just click on OK. Now we have our main comp and I'm going to create one another comp. So go to composition, new comp and this one I'm going to call this letter and width and height I'm going to set this to 500 by 500 and all the other things will remain same. Just click on OK. So now you can see we have the second comp and I'm going to quickly select the text tool. So just click and you can type whatever character you want. So I'm going to type H and now let me just quickly select the text and I'm going to align it into the center of this comp. So if you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Also, let's make its anchor point in the center. So you can select the layer, hold on the control key and double click on this. Now it's completely up to you. You can use whatever font you want. I'm using this Gotham Ultra, but this technique will work with any other font. So let me just quickly select this and I'm going to just scale this up a little bit. Something like this. Now we can probably disable the background and now I'm going to add a stroke. So just select the text and increase it. And it's completely up to you. You can choose whatever value you want. So I'm going to set this to, let's say three or four, maybe. Yeah, I think four is looking good. So now we have our letter and let's go back to the main comp. And over here, I'm going to first create a new solid. So right click solid and let's give this a nice dark color, something like this. After that, just click on OK. Now let's drag our letter just like that and we are ready to do the animation so let's select this and let's press p for position and first i'm going to just simply add 200 to this so that the letter will go down and let's add a keyframe after that let's go to one second so just zoom in and at one second i'm going to just simply set this to 540 which was the initial position and now i'm going to subtract 200 from this and let's go to the Two second mark just copy the first keyframe and paste it so now you can see that our text will move like this and let's quickly select all the keyframes you can press f9 to ease them or right click keyframe assistant easy let's go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different then make sure you're in the edit speed graph now we can probably zoom in just select this handle and just drag it all the way to the and let's do the same thing for this one something like this so now if i play back here you can see we have this sort of animation now let's start adding some multiple layers and let's add colors to this so first i'm going to select this layer then press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's duplicate it three times after that we can pick the second layer and let's apply tint to this so just search for it and drag it onto the layer and now let's change the color so i'm going to change the map white color to a really nice blue color now let's copy the tint and let's disable the second layer and paste it onto the third now let's change the color to something like orange just like that now again let's disable this and let's pick the last one and let's change its color to something like pink just click on ok now let's enable all the layers and let's select all of them and press u to reveal all the keyframes now we are going to slightly move them to the right side so select all the keyframes of the layer below and after that you can use the arrow keys to move the text something like this after that just select the bottom two layer and then move them just like that and at the end just select the last layer and just move it something like this the only thing that you have to remember is just make sure that your timeline indicator is at the very end otherwise it will start adding another keyframes like this so we are pretty much done with this and let's offset it so that we have a really nice animation for that let's zoom in and i'm going to quickly move the layers by three frames and let's move this to three frame and let's move this by three frame as well there you go now you have something like this now we can do one more thing we can select all the keyframes and let's move to the 
six second mark and let's just simply drag it and let's move it something like this now you can select the top layer and you can press star key to add a marker then select all of these and let's just move this to the very beginning something like this so now if i play back here you can see we have this really nice animation go to the last keyframe and then you can press n or just simply drag this endpoint over here and after that right click trim comp to work area so now you can see that we have this one second animation perfect now we can select all of these right click and let's pre-compose them and let's call this animation one just like that now we are going to duplicate this layer and add other letters as well so for that just simply select both of these layers and then press ctrl t to duplicate them after that select this layer and press ctrl d as well now all you have to do is just select the top layer and hold down the alt key and just click the second layer which is the animation 2 and just drag it onto it so you can see that now it has replaced it let's open up the second comp and let's select all the letter layers and do the same thing with the letter 2 comp so hold on the alt key and just drag it onto this so that these will be replaced by letter 2 comp now we can go inside the letter 2 and we can type other letter so let's type e and if i go back here you can see that our letter has changed and we can probably move it to the side just like that let's repeat this step so select this layer press ctrl d to duplicate it after that select the letter 2 and animation 2 then press ctrl d now we have this layer selected so i'm going to hold on the alt key and let's drag the animation 3 go inside select all the layers hold on the alt key and let's replace it with the letter 3 now we can go inside this and just double click it and let's type l so i'm going to type hello so the other character is also going to be l so i'm going to just simply skip that and let's move to the o so again let's select this press ctrl d change this to o and let's go back to the main so now we can probably select all of these layers one by one and let's start moving them so first let's pick the edge and let's place it somewhere around here then we can move the e layer and after that l and let me just quickly duplicate this one more time because we have two l and at the end let's move the o somewhere around here just play around with its position however you want and after that let's select all of these layers and let's move it somewhere around here so now if i play back here you can see we have this really nice animation now last step is to offset them so in order to offset them first we have to increase the duration of this comp so go to composition let's go to the composition settings and let's set this to something like 30 seconds just click on ok and let me just zoom out so now you can see we have this layer and let's extend the background now we can select all of these layers and right click go to time and just enable time remapping after that you can select the top layer hold on the alt key and just click on the stopwatch then just type this expression loop out and now select the property and go to edit we can just simply copy the expression only after that select all the other layers go to edit and just paste it so now you can select all of these layers and extend their endpoints just like that so you can see that we have this infinite animation and let's pick some points so for example let's go to the eight second mark make sure all the layers are selected then you can add a marker by pressing the star key just like that or you can right click go to marker and just add marker now let's offset them so let's go to the 8 second mark and let's zoom in and we are going to offset them from the bottom because we want the wave to travel to this side so in order to do that all you have to do is just simply move the layers by a 10 frames mark so let's move this at 10 frame and let's zoom out and let's move this to 20 and this one at 9 second and let's move this to 10 frames just like that now we can select all of these layers and let's move them to the very beginning and we can extend the end so now if i play back here you can see that we have this really nice wavy kind of pattern and you will notice that sometimes the letters will flicker to fix that let's move the indicator to somewhere around two seconds and since we are offset the layers by 10 frames so we have to add 10 to this so let's move this to 
2 seconds and 10 frame after that you can again press n and let's right click and trim comp to work area now we can create another composition let's call this final and the other things will remain same just click on ok and let's drag our main comp over here so right click time time remapping and just add the loop out expression and after that you can extend the layer now all you have to do is just simply move the layer and now you can see that we have no flickering in this text so this is how you can create these kind of animations and if you want you can just simply change the letters all you have to do is just simply go to the letter com and you can type whatever you want and here you can see that we have changed the text and you can play around with the colors whatever you want so this is how you can create these kind of animations if you create this animation and upload it to the Instagram, then make sure to tag me. I'll love to repost them onto my profile. And the project file for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there, then you can download it. And if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. Also, if you have any queries or questions, then you can ask in the comments below. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.